What's up, everybody? This is John Menace. Diamond girl, you make me feel. Now listen, when I'm not singing, or hitting the gym, or playing with my animals, I got a zoo at home. I'm reading Freestyle Magazine, you guys. Check it out. It is fire. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Peace out. What's up, everybody? Frank Muddy Hong, Freestyle Music Magazine. Dot com. Check it out when you get a chance. We're in level 13 in Orlando, Florida, and we're standing next to a legend, the man himself, the voice, the original. Everybody knows Mr. Diamond Girl himself, Mr. Diamond John Girl. Menace. <laughs> there he is. What's up, my brother? How you doing, man? It's doing good, man. Great to see you, man. See you too, we man. saw the performance, man. Every yeah. single time you bring it. Every single Thank time, you, every you. single time, like you will not get disappoint, disappointed <laughs> in your performance. Thank first you. of all, real quick, how in the hell do you stay in shape? First of all, because you're making us all look bad. How is it possible? You know, it's funny. I, I, I've i been working out since I was like, tw I started around 21, something like yeah. that. Yeah. And I, it's just been, it's been my escape. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like, wow. yeah. And I, I always know when I'm going through something because I'm, I'm at the gym like four or five times a, a week. So wow. I know it's like, okay, there's something really getting at me wow. that I'm trying to get away from. So, yeah. Cause like I had therapy? Just, yeah, because I, I had to take four weeks off. I just started back uh, last week. I did two days, this this Monday and Thursday, because I, I was getting too big. And I was like, okay, I need to slow down, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, it's always been this therapy. I was a personal trainer at one time. So. Yeah, well, Dude, you yeah, fit the part. That's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's How much dieting, though, is it? I, is No? You can eat whatever you want? Hell, diet? What? I'm Caribbean, man. I can't do that diet uh, shit. <laughs> you see what I mean? He's just making us all look bad, uh, man. My, yeah, my friends talk. They, they joke with me all the time. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm literally you're in great shape, man. You always you, have man. been, man. But you, man. I was watching a video of yours on YouTube the other day with a friend yeah. who happened to be a, a freestyle artist himself. And we were going one by one. Mm. And we were seeing who sings the same from back in the days till now. Uh. You show up. First of all, there was others <laughs> before you that we were like, oh, my God, hang it up, hang it up. We came to you. You sounded exactly oh, no, like you, you did from day one. Thank you. Matter of fact, his words were, he didn't know, he, his first words were, this guy can sing. Oh, wow, that's that's, that's what he said. When you first opened yeah. up your mouth, he said, this guy can sing. And everybody else that were following, not to mention any names, yeah. they were slacking. Okay. How do you keep it going for after so many years, the vocals, how does it stay the same? I've been singing. I sing in bands, sing in local bands in, in, in Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. You know, like Friday night, last night I was singing at a place, I sing at a place called Fishtails in Fort Lauderdale. And it's just a duo, me and a friend of mine, her name is Yindi. And, uh, Shout out to Yindi. Yindi Songbird. There you go. Yeah, but and last night she had a friend filling in for her. Okay. And uh, the, this is the first time working with her. She was amazing her name is her last name is german okay. her name is deborah german and she was good too so I, I sing with a lot of different people and so it's like a lot of people i sing with i learn i still i'm still learning you know because if you think you know everything you'll never learn anything so i i try to pick up as much as i can and so i because it's a muscle and if you don't use it like everything yeah. else it'll absolutely so absolutely I, yeah. let me just go real quick for the controversy, which everybody knows, right? Okay. It, it's the history of yeah, Diamond Girl. But let me get a let me get a twist to it. Let me put a little spin on this real quick from an outside looking in, and connecting some of the dots from the future to the past. So, if nobody knows, everybody's living under the rock. Original Diamond Girl singer. Why is that? Why are they calling you the original? Why do they have to call you the original Diamond Girl? Vocal. Well, you know, they had the group started off with someone lip syncing to my voice, Reggie. Reggie and I are like nice and wild. Yeah, and he and I are like brothers. I mean, people don't know. Fun fact: Reggie didn't want to do it, wow. but because Reggie's a black guy, they had him, and he used to call me John. Man, you got to do this, and I'm like, I can't because you know, mom. I, my mom was everything, yeah. so I told him I can't do it, and so Reggie never let up. You know, because wow. he hated he hated it. You know, but people think that he and I had a little thing going yeah. and we never did wow. and as a matter of fact i just spoke to him last week wow. so you know he's really good people and now david doing his thing i listen nobody can get through to david david is doing what david wants yeah. to do and if he feels like he should lip sync to my voice and you know i'm hey okay yeah. that's why i have to sing it live and I have to sing the acapella so people will know because he's been doing it 
for a long time because yeah. I hadn't done this in a long time. I just started back a few years before COVID, you know, yeah. and so, you know. But you know what's interesting? In doing my homework and doing my, my research with that particular case, we know all about the Millie Vanilli, right? Yeah. The Millie Vanilli, yeah, well, you know un it's true. there it is. <laughs> He's probably the original yeah. singer for that too. <laughs> Damn, he probably too. Oh, man, but funny. unfortunately, what happened in that area where he decided enough is enough and he unfortunately yeah. committed suicide and passed mm -hmm. along. Now, I started researching that, researching you, and there was another group back in the 80s as well who did the same exact thing mm -hmm. with um, Yo Yo Little Brother, yeah. Mr. Nolan. He, it was another guy who sang it just like you, same case. So that showed me... That that what happened with you is not it's new. Normal. I mean, you see what happened with Martha Wash and CC Music Factory. Absolutely, Same you know. Thing there. So I mean, it's a common thing. I mean, it, it's been happening even back in the '60s. You know, you, you, that's just it's all about the image or whatever. It's all about you know, and it's not about the talent, which is yeah. sad. You which know? is sad. Which is sad. But it's it's a common thing, you know. And I know at first you you went along with it and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. I get it. What made you finally say? I gotta let the world know. People just wouldn't go for it. They were like, "You gotta do your own, you know, do your own shit." You know, my friends, especially my family. Yeah. Why are you not doing this? And I'm like, because I just don't want to deal with the craziness. Because I did it before, for a little bit, and I just couldn't. I, my stress level is, I gotta keep it here. Yeah. You know, so I just didn't want to deal with the craziness. And I, you know, and then as I got older, I learned how to deal with stress better. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah. learn how to, you know. I got to read people more and me singing and stuff. I, I you know, you got to learn crazy. You got to learn how to recognize crazy, yeah. you know? So yeah. that's, that's what I had learned how to do. And I'm like, okay, if I'm going to do it, I want to, you know, I, I work with a few people like, you know, Eric got me doing this again. Eric was like, listen, dude, you need to, I'm like, I don't know, you know, cause I was working with this guy, Zeke, okay. but Zeke gave Eric my number. So, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. So I, like, and Eric is, I, I just need somebody straightforward. And you know, so he so far he's been down. Yeah. down. He's good people, yeah. yeah. He's an awesome yeah, guy. Yeah. So I, I've I've recently met him. He, we talked to some mm -hmm. things, and right off the bat, you can tell yeah, he's yeah. a class A guy. Yeah, he's yeah. a class A guy. What is the future for you? What does the future look like for you? What is it you want to do, try to do, dreams, hopes? What what's in store for you? Honestly, I just want to be happy in the most moderate way I can be. I can be, you know what I'm saying? I I'm gonna sing until I croak, whether I'm singing in a box or whatever. And I think that's my thing. You know, it's never been about the money for me because I mean I've been I sing in bands where I make two hundred dollars singing four hours. You know, because I, that's my that my passion. That's your passion. You know what I'm saying? So, and like they say, if you do what you love to do for work, you never work. Yeah, it's never a job. Yeah, so you know I you know and if anything is there for me in the future, uh, you know I'll definitely I'll gladly take it. You know I haven't done any recordings in a long time, you know, and so I need to get into that. <laughs> well, well, we were talking earlier. We were talking earlier. I mentioned a few things, and uh, one of the things as I was going through YouTube and I was going through some stuff, I had a friend of mine who was the, the son of a gentleman by the name of Ed McMahon, and back in those days, Ed McMahon had a show called Star Search, yeah. and when I started talking to him about Star Search, I saw your name pop up. Yeah. And I said, is this the same <laughs> gun? You killed it at Star Search. Yeah, man. You fun. won Star Search. Yeah. And back in the days, like right now, if you go to America's Got Talent, they give you like a six-figure contract yeah. and everything. I don't know what the deal was back then yeah. in, in, solid, in a Star Search. But you won. And that was after you made Diamond Girl. Yeah. After you, everybody uh, knew that you sang Diamond Girl. So was, was fame and fortune is what you were looking for? Because now it showed that... You wanted to go out there. You wanted yeah. the world to see who you were. You wanted the world to see that this is the voice, be the face behind the voice. Yeah. So what was it that Star Search gave you that Diamond Girl didn't give you? It gave me television exposure. Well, that's true. <laughs> but no, that's the thing true. is, I mean, I didn't audition for Star Search either, like the traditional way. So how'd that come about? A, a friend of mine, she was auditioning for it, and they asked her if she knew a male singer. And she said yes, so I sent in a VHS. <laughs> For you, for you young cheering, yeah. <laughs> it looks like, you know, but, uh, it keeps the next <clears throat> the rotary phone. exactly, exactly. You know, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, and so they chose me for the show because they had a guy on there that was, they, they couldn't find anybody to beat him out. Okay. So, cause he was amazing. And so, um, I got on there and I 
I won. I, every week I'm singing against a different different guy. And then I ended up singing against him again in the semifinals. In the semifinals yeah. yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm not beating this guy twice. You know, and I beat him again. So I was like, okay, you know, it was cool for me. I, you know, if I really wouldn't have gone on if it hadn't been for my mom, because her thing was she was she did not want me to spend my life taking care of her. It's, those are her exact words. Wow. So she was like, you you need to do, you know, she was not a, a, a stage mom, you know, yeah. go out there and sing and make that money. She didn't do that. So she she literally forced me out because I'm an only child. So wow. she forced me out. She's like, you got to do something wow. and, and you, you better do this. And I was like, because oh, when they called me and they said they want, I'm, I, so I had second thoughts, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, yeah. no, I want to do this. And she, and she cursed me out. I can't say what she said. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah we get it. We get I mean, it. You don't get, yeah, exactly. You understand what I feel. So I, and I did. And it's, you know that there's some uh, artists who they say that freestyle, the reason why freestyle dropped is because some of the artists can't sing. That they're, they're, they're talented. Anybody can sing in freestyle. And so the level of talent dropped and therefore the music labels and the record labels started dropping artists and this and that if anybody out there has heard this man's voice <laughs> you would know that this brother can sing sing like 100 acapella you know that this brother can sing now that is refreshing to know <laughs> especially if you're paying money to see somebody sing yeah. that that you're not lip syncing no, I can't do that. It, it is amazing, your vocals. You truly have a gift. You mm -hmm. truly have a gift. And, and I'm wondering, besides freestyle, mm -hmm. are you thinking about going into any type of other style of music, jazz, or something else that, that you may fall in love with? You know, that's the thing, because I sing every week. I sing everything. I mean, I have to sing rock, pop, dance. I sing Usher. I sing, it. I wow. sing all this stuff. Yeah. And so it's like, I love all of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm singing a, an old rock song called Long Train Running, you know, and that song is not easy to sing, but I love the challenge. And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm really into R&B and soul. That's where I grew up. I grew up on that, you know, right? So that's going to be always be my passion. Freestyle fell in my lap. And so the thing is with freestyle is the thing I love about freestyle is not a negative thing. Like you listen to freestyle songs and that's the thing where whether they can sing or not, we're talking about loves and breakups and stuff like that. We're not talking about shooting and bees yeah. and hoes and all that stuff. Yeah. And that's the one thing I love about freestyle. So, you know, it's like sometimes, you know, you got to take the message. Because there's a lot of rock and roll singers that can't sing. Yeah, Lord true. Jesus. That's true. You know? Right. And there's, there, there are a lot of R&B singers that yeah. can't sing. Yeah, absolutely right. But their message and the way they deliver it comes through. And if, you, if you're passionate about it it, 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 it comes through. So, you know, and so whatever falls, you know, whatever, whatever road God has for me, I'm going to take it. Does it bother you that you get labeled as a freestyle artist? No, not at all. No? No. I mean, it's just, I'm an artist. So if you, you can call me anything else, but if you say artist in front of, I'm yeah. behind it, I'm, I'm blessed. Yeah. You know? So you can call me freestyle artist, R&B, whatever. I'm an artist. And, you know, like Erica Badu says, you know, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my... That's so, it. you know, that's, that's, that's how that's it is. It. If you had to choose a producer to take your style, your voice to the next level. Is there anybody you want to work with or, or wish you could work with as far as uh, producing? <clears throat> Dang it, darn it all to heck. That's a, <laughs> that's a hard question, dude. Uh, you know, because like I said, I like so many different genres of music. It, that's hard for me to, to hear, yeah. you know? I mean, I, I used to be a L.A. and Babyface fan and, you know, Ooh. I mean, come on. Yeah. You know, and yeah. and and what's the ones that did Janet Jackson's uh, album? Timmy, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. So you know, there's a lot of them that that I would love to work with. You know, even yeah, I mean, Burt Bac Bacharach was a, an amazing writer. And so you know, it's, it's just it's, wow. it's yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. I know we got enough time. What is now? What can we spec? Where can we see you? How can we follow you? What's your social media channels? Give the world what they're asking for. What's next? Where can we find you? What's up for you? Well, I got, what, three pages on Facebook. <laughs> John Menace, John H. Menace, and Johnny Menace. Okay. Uh, and why is that? What is, what's the reason for that? Listen, I didn't know anything about Facebook when I first got on. So when I reached my, my 5,000 point at John H. Menace, you couldn't get any more friends. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'll just create another page. Okay. So I created John Menace, and I'm like, no, nah, that's too close to John H. Menace. Mm. I put in a request for Facebook to delete it. Okay. 
So then I created Johnny Minutes, right? My, uh, I would say like six months later, a friend of mine said, someone else created a fake page, you know, because that's what people did before him. That's why I put my name on my pictures. Yeah. So I go on his, this fake page, and I'm cursing this person out. You must look like a dog. You got to create somebody else's page. Turns out it was the page they never deleted. I was cursing myself out. Wow. So I had so many friend requests. Yeah. I decided, okay, I'll keep it. I just cursed myself out. Are you most on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter? Instagram, I'm on, well, I'm not on Twitter, but I am on Instagram. It's John Menace 00, the number 00, and Johnny Menace. And then, I'm, you know, TikTok, the same thing, John Menace, you know. How much are you on TikTok? Not much. No. I just got on TikTok a few months ago. So I'm, it's I'm not an obsession yet. No, nah, oh God, no. <laughs> I'm trying, that's why you got to have so many so you don't get stuck on yeah. one, you know? Yeah. So I, you know, I go. From one to the other. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then, website? You have a website or no? No. And isn't that sad? No. I mean, it is you, sad. You know. I don't have a website. I don't have cards. Nothing. <laughs> that's 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 amazing because yeah. I, I because my second question is maybe they can go to your website to sell more tickets for the mm. events. Yeah. But so how do you do that? How do you make from the business side? Forget the singing side, but from the business side, how do you grow from the business side of it? I don't. I mean, I'll post stuff on my social media and stuff like right. that. Um, I. I suck at promoting myself. I'm wow. the worst. Wow. I mean, you. There's so many people that have known me for years and never knew, yeah. never knew I sang Diamond Girl. Wow. Because I just don't talk about myself like that. Yeah. So yeah. and they get mad at me because they're, are you? They curse me out, but I'm like, it's just, it's not a thing. I, like, I don't want you to know me, like, you know, be my friend because I sing Diamond Girl. Yeah. You know, and so that's where I, I get my genu genuine friends. From, you know. Do you have, you have any idols or any influences in freestyle? Do you follow anybody or well, has I, anybody inspired you? First of all, I'm just going to say this. My favorite, you know, I love Trineer. Trineer is, you know, she's like my sister. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. She's one of the people that just keep pushing me. Like, and she, she, she gets on my case about not promoting myself. She's like, what, what is wrong with you? You know, you know yeah. You know, I, when I met her, we clicked like that. I mean, there's a lot of singers, freestyle. I met Naomi. I've always wanted to meet her, you know. Um, there's the, the TKA, all these guys that I've grown, I used to listen to, yeah. you know, and I never got to meet them. And, and I mean, I work with Shannon, wow. Brenda K-Star. I'm like, what? I'm sitting next to Brenda K-Star, and she's cracking jokes. The cover girls, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it's one of those things that's it's a lot. Stevie B, I, we, I've never met him, but we did a show together. Okay. By the time he came on, I had, I had left because, you know, it was late. But well, yeah, I, mean, I I tell you from what what we've seen so far, from the inside out, from your character to to how you handle situations to everything you've been through, to give the performances that you give every single day, what you're giving to the community to the fans, I'm gonna tell you, and I think I speak for every fan in, in freestyle, thank you. Oh man, thank, thank you, you for. All that you do, man. I mean, it's inspiring. It, it, I'm sure you're setting the bar. You really are setting the bar for wow. all those to follow. And, and, and because you have, I think you've made, single-handedly, made freestyle better for oh, those wow. to come. You, Absolutely 100%. That, and that's coming from somebody who's, who's actually seen, and, I, and I'm a statistics guy. I put all these things together. I look at the stats. I look at the numbers. And every single time, you're at the top of the charts Thank you, man. every single time. Brother, you have a gift. You have a talent. And we hope that you continue. We will follow you all the way through, brother. And, and we just want to say thank you from the bottom of hearts. Really appreciate you it. did an thank amazing so job. Much. And tonight, man. Tonight, man, the energy was crazy. 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 Yeah. Crazy. Rock the house one more time. I'm like, oh, I gotta go. Rock the house. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank please you. follow this man here. Thank you. Amazing. FreestyleMusicMagazine.com on behalf of John and myself. Peace. We're out. out.